It's time for Lakeland T-Bird Preview. With a look at tonight's action, here's the voice of the T-Birds, Matt Thompson. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lakeland Union High School Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9 and online worldwide at WMQA.com. I am Matt Thompson, live in the island city of Monaco tonight as the Lakeland Girls battle Northland Pines. This is a great Northern Conference matchup. The legend himself, Tony Rio, has taken care of the controls back at the station. Easy for me to say. We always thank you for that, Tony. We'd also like to thank our sponsors of Lakeland Basketball this season. Bolger Funeral and Cremation Services, Craig Farrell, your State Farm agent in Manaqua, Culver's of Arborvita, Lakeland Sign and Graphics, Woodruff Appliance and TV, and Extreme Clean Manaqua. Well, Lakeland did drop a tough one to Medford last Thursday as the super sophomore Juliana we met had to exit the game after just a few minutes due to a sprained ankle that she suffered in practice the night before. She's going to give her a go tonight, however. The T-Birds are 4-2 and two entering this contest, 2-1 and one in the GNC. The Eagles, meanwhile, are 1-4 overall. They are 1-2 in conference play after going 3-20 last season. Northland Pines is led by freshman Nora Grenban. She's a scoring machine, folks. Averages 15 and a half per game. Well, the teams are getting set to play this one. They are on the court. So what do you say we get ready for some girls basketball, T-Bird style? We'll preview this one with head coach Melissa we met after the break. You are listening to the Lakeland Girls Basketball Pregame Show on Cool 95.9. There's no stronger craving than a Culver's Concrete Mixer craving. Every handcrafted concrete mixer starts with our famously fresh frozen custard made batch after batch for a most decadent dessert. Choose a flavor, then add your favorite mix-ins, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, cookie dough, real strawberry, whatever thy craving commands. Cure your craving for a Culver's Concrete Mixer today. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's in Manaqua wishes the Lakeland T-Bird basketball teams good luck this season. Imagine crossing a street busy with traffic. Against the light. Watch where you're going. Wearing a blindfold. Would you do this? Probably not. It's one risk obviously not worth taking. Some risks aren't as obvious. It could be just as deadly. Like the risk for type 2 diabetes. If you're overweight or over 45, if you're not very active, or don't eat as healthy as you should, there's an easy test you can take to find out your risk. It's free, and in less than a minute, you'll know if you're at risk for this deadly disease. Just go to diabetes.org slash take the test, or call 1-800-DIABETES. Because type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. Take the diabetes risk test and stop diabetes before it stops you. A message from the American Diabetes Association. Hi, I'm Kristen Chenoweth. When many servicemen and women return home, they carry with them the invisible wounds of war. But thanks to the life-saving power of the human-animal bond, professionally trained service dogs can help. If you're a veteran or know a veteran struggling with post-traumatic stress or traumatic brain injury, please go to AmericanHumane.org to learn about their Pups for Patriots program, which provides specially trained service dogs free of charge to veterans in need. Let's help our veterans heal from the invisible wounds of war. Cool 95.9. Welcome back to the pregame show. Matt Thompson joined alongside Lakeland head coach, Melissa We met Coach, before we get into tonight's game, let's ask you about your daughter, Juliana. How's that ankle doing? 
it's doing much better. Um, the trainer said she could play tonight. Um, she did everything she could possibly do over the weekend to get it ready. Ice, did the stems, did um, all kinds of therapy, exercising. Um, so we're going to give it a nice big go tonight, and hopefully she can move and push and plant off that foot and, and even jump off of it. So I guess time will, will tell. After Thursday's game, we talked about the rebounding uh, differential against Medford. What did you work on over the last few days to try to help offset that? Boxing out, boxing out, boxing out. And um, one of the things, because I, I asked my uh, players, you know, how can I help you with this? And Camille Quaid actually said something that's pretty good. She's like, it's harder for us to box out when we're in our zone. So we practice all of these drills just, you know, like in a like a one-on-one -on -one setting. So um, we're going to start working a lot more on doing box out drills from an actual zone defense because then they have to go hunt and, and find. So it's always good to get the player input. When you take on a Northland Pines team that has traditionally struggled, but they have a freshman. I know she scored a 20, over 21 game and is averaging 15, Nora Grimban. How do you attack Northland Pines tonight? Well, we're just going to do our thing. We're going to come out here and press, 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 and look to get steals and put up good good shots. I, I like good shots. Tonight we did a little shoot around, and I told my players, be ready. Don't just catch the ball and think of yourself as a passer. Catch the ball thinking shot. If you've got the good shot, take the good shot. I want you to take shots you love, not shots that you like. I, I also told them whenever Juliana flashes into the paint, get her the ball in the paint because... Pines is going to collapse, and then that's going to open up shooters on the perimeter. So we worked on a few things during shoot-around. Plus, I want to take a sneak peek and see if she could move. <laughs> so um, took care of both things, and I, I'm excited for us to, to play tonight. All right, excellent. Thank you, Coach, and good luck to the T-Birds tonight. That was head coach Melissa we met. We'll be back with the starters after this. You're listening to T-Bird Basketball on Cool 95.9. Manaqua's local State Farm agent Craig Farrell on Highway J would like to wish good luck to the Lakeland T-Bird basketball teams. With Craig Farrell handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time to handle everything else. More money, too, because adding State Farm policies can earn discounts that could add up to 40% and actually help you get ahead. Call State Farm agent Craig Farrell in Manaqua today and get to a better state with State Farm. Discounts may vary state to state. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy, so we show them how. And we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. Not just one time, but every chance we get. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them, they need to hear it often from you. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. So talk, they hear you. You can do it if you try. Social distancing tip. Putting distance between yourself and others is critical to slowing the spread of coronavirus. So here are ways to stay in contact without the physical contact part. Call, send a text, set up a video conference, post on social media, dedicate a song on the radio. If you have symptoms of fever, dry cough, and shortness of breath, call your health care provider before going to their office. For more info, visit coronavirus.gov. Let's all do our part because we're all hashtag alone together. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Cool 95.9. Welcome back to Lakeland Union High School girls basketball on Cool 95.9. Also online worldwide at WMQA.com. And we're also part of the Lakeland Union High School media productions broadcast tonight. So look for that one online. Go to the Lakeland Union High School website and click on the link, and you can watch this game as well while listening to the feed of this game. Uh, Mr. Yonke does a terrific job with that Lakeland Union High School Media Productions team. Let's get you the starting lineups first for the Northland Pines girls. Checking in one and four overall, one and two in GNC play, led by head coach Josh Olivati. He starts at forward, Kelty Neff, five foot nine inch junior. Neff wears number 12, and she's averaging 3.5 a game. At guard, Lucy Lurvey, 
five foot five inch senior. Lurvy wears number 14 and is averaging eight points a game. The leading scorer is a guard, Nora Grenban, five foot five inch freshman. Grenban wears number 23 and, as we mentioned, averaging over 15 points a game. Hadley Olivati, five foot seven inch sophomore, wears number 25. She's a guard, averaging six a game. And rounding out the starting five is Grace Weber, five foot eight inch senior. Weber wears number 42, and the forward is averaging two points a game. Again, Neff, Lurvy, Grenban, Alavati, and Weber for Northland Pines. For the Lakeland Union High School girls, led by head coach Melissa, we met in her sixth season, four and two this season, two and one in the Great Northern Conference. And starting five begins with Juliana, we met five foot, 10 inch sophomore. We met wears number 10. She's a guard averaging 30 points a game. Amaya White, five foot, six inch senior. White wears number 23 and the guard is averaging 13 points a game. At forward, Camille Quaid, five foot, nine inch senior. Quaid wears number 24 and she's averaging one and a half points a game. Another forward, Lily Fortier, five foot, nine inch sophomore. Wears number 25 and Lily's averaging five points a contest. And rounding out the starting five is Jolie Kaler, the forward, five foot, 11 inches tall. She's a junior, wears number 34, and is averaging two and a half points per game. Again, the starting five for Lakeland. Juliana Wimet, Amaya White, Camille Quaid, Lily Fortier, and Jolie Kaler. The Lakeland JV girls won tonight before this contest. The score was 41 to 33, so Lakeland going for a sweep here tonight. Well, the teams are getting set for the national anthem and the starting lineups, so I'll tell you what, we're going to step aside. We'll take our final break. When we come back, we'll have the game between Lakeland and Northland Pines in this great Northern Conference showdown. You are listening to Lakeland Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. That's Lakeland T-Bird Preview. Stay tuned for all the exciting action of Lakeland sports on Cool 95.9. Extreme Clean of Manaqua, owned and operated by Blake and Ben Berry, proud Lakeland Union alumnus, give a loud shout-out to Lakeland student-athletes. Extreme Clean is here to support and cheer on their team, so come on, T-Birds, let's clean house! Give Extreme Clean of Manaqua a chance to compete for your business. Extreme Clean offers commercial and residential cleaning, carpets, windows, heating, and cooling ducts and vents. Extreme Clean also offers post-construction cleanup. Call for your free consultation and quote today, 358-9511. Keeping in touch with family and friends or reaching public safety officials can be challenging during power outages. If telecom networks are affected by severe weather or other conditions, the FCC recommends following these guidelines. Call 911 only when necessary and limit non-emergency calls. Avoid repetitive redialing to minimize network congestion. Try texting if a call doesn't go through. Conserve battery power. Switch mobile phones and devices to power saving modes and turn off when not in use. If evacuated, forward landline calls to your cell phone if possible. If you're using your car to charge cell phones or listen to news on the car radio, be aware that carbon monoxide emissions can be deadly in an enclosed space such as a garage. Remember, always seek shelter in dangerous conditions and follow directions from public safety officials. For more info, go to FCC.gov emergency. Hey, this is Scott King, the morning guy here on Cool 95.9. It has been an interesting year so far, to say the least. One of the constants, though, is you and I hanging out in the morning, listening to the greatest hits of the 70s and 80s with some news, weather, sports, and some morning chatter sprinkled into the mix. If you haven't checked in lately, do so. I'd appreciate it. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. I'll talk to you then. Fantastic. It's Scott King in the morning on Cool 95.9. Lakeland T-Bird Sports is on the air at Cool 95.9 and online at WMQA.com. T-Bird Sports is brought to you by Woodruff Appliance, Culver's of Arbor Vita, Craig Farrell, your State Farm agent in Manaqua, Lakeland Signing Graphics, Bulger Funeral Home, and Extreme Clean of Manaqua. Now, with all the play-by-play action, here's the voice of Lakeland T-Bird Sports, Matt Thompson. 
Welcome back to Lakeland Union High School girls basketball right here on Cool 95.9 and online at WMQA.com. Also streaming live tonight via the Lakeland Union High School media productions team. We've got a nice battle for you here tonight as the T-Birds host Northland Pines. Northland Pines, their win this year came over Tomahawk. Talked with head coach Josh Olivati before this one and says his girls continue to play hard. They've progressed very well and he's looking forward to seeing how they do tonight against this Lakeland Thunderbird team. And of course, whenever you talk about Lakeland, you've got to talk about Juliana we met. And I asked him about the super sophomore and he said he doesn't care if that ankle is taped up, braced, or what, he knows that she's going to come out and play hard and play well and is the cog that makes this Lakeland Union High School team go. It really is. And we saw last week when she left the basketball game, this team struggled to score points. They started to come through, but just not enough as they lost to Medford, their first Great Northern Conference loss. But tonight, Juliana back in there, rested that ankle all weekend long. And now here playing tonight. So we were scheduled to have a boys game for you tomorrow night as the T-Birds were expected to travel to Antigo on the boys' side. But unfortunately, that game has been postponed due to the pandemic. So that game has been rescheduled for December 29th. So for us, this is actually our last game of the calendar year 2020. And January 2nd with the girls game at Wausau East. So hope you all are ready for the holidays. All your presents are purchased. I won't see you at the big box department stores when I purchase mine. <laughs> Hopefully. We are underway. There is no tip due to the pandemic, so the road team gets the ball first, and Northland Pines gets their first crack at it. With the basketball is Lucy Lurvey dribbling near the top. Off to the right, she finds Olivati. Into the right corner for Lurvey. Lurvey tries to bounce it, and this one's stolen away by Lily Fortier. Gives it off to Juliana, to Quaid, back to Juliana at the top. We met drives down the lane, puts a layup. It's good. We met looking like she's feeling pretty good with that ankle. And the T-Birds lead it 2 to nothing. We get a foul called at half court. Pardon me, looks like it's an over and back. So the T-Birds will get the basketball. 2 to nothing. Lakeland leading. We are just underway from Monaco. The girls playing on Ted Voigt court. The legend himself. Lily Fortier with it. Goes out high for We Met. We Met puts the ball on the floor, kicks it back out to Cassidy Cleveland, who drives down the lane. Layup, no good. This one's rebounded by Grenband. The freshman driving all the way down the lane, tries to lay it up. Too strong, rebounded by Fortier. And now it's stolen away by Lurvey. Ripped it right out of Fortier's hands. Pines going left to right, as I see it here on your radio dial or internet link. So with it in the corner right now is Alavati. Shot up, no good. This one's rebounded by Fortier. You can certainly see the girls have worked hard on their rebounding the last couple of days. Fortier, left wing, puts the ball on the floor, drives into the paint, gets poked away from behind. That's a turnover, giving it to the Eagles. Back the other way we go. Alavati has it, goes inside. This one's stolen away. Was trying to get it to Neff, but Amaya White with the theft going the other way. Now she dribbles it off her foot. It goes out of bounds. Back to the Eagles. 16-24 left to go here in the opening half. Lakeland leading 2 to nothing. T-Birds 4-2 on the year. 2-1 and one in conference play. Some pressure in the backcourt. The Eagles break it as Grenban brings it into the front court. Short jumper from the right baseline by Neff is no good. Rebounded by the T-Birds. Now we met, nearly loses the basketball. She very alertly points to it, saying, I can't pick it back up or to be a double dribble. So her teammate Cleveland did. Now it's in Amaya White's hand. Right wing three off the back iron. No good. Lily Fortier battles for the rebound, and she's fouled. So first foul of the game goes against the Eagles. This one goes against Grace Weber. As Cleveland will inbound right on the K of the Lakeland logo, gets it in. We met has it at the top. Puts it on the floor, right hand, drives down the lane. Right-handed shot is good off the glass. So far, it's We Met four, Eagles nothing, 15-42, left to go in the opening half. 
Grenban brings it in, swing it around the left side. It's in the hands of Neff. Neff drives off the glass, no good. Gets her own rebound, shot up, no good, but she's fouled. Two shots coming for Kelty Neff. Averaging three and a half a game. This one goes against Lily Fortier. So one team foul apiece. As the five foot nine inch junior goes to the line and swishes the first. It's 2-1, excuse me, 4-1. As Neff gets set for her second free throw. Bounces it just one time off the black hardwood, and this one's too strong. Rebound fought for. Was actually saved by the Eagles, but stolen away by the T-Birds. We met, brings it up, up ahead to Lily Fortier, finds Amaya White under the basket. Laying is good. Great job by the T-Birds passing that basketball to the open girl, which was Amaya White, and Lakeland leads it 6-1. to one. On the other side, Weber for a long two, no good. This one's rebounded by the Eagles. They reset in the left corner as Grenban fires a three swish. First field goal of the game for the Eagles is a three by Grenban, 6-4, Lakeland leads. We met, brings it into the front court, drives, bounce pass to Quaid, shot up, no good, but she's fouled. So that's one thing that Coach We Met talked about in our pregame show. Has this foul. Goes against Olivati. That's her first. Was the fact that she knows that we met is going to be double and sometimes triple teamed as she brings the ball into the front court. First free throw from Quaid is good. And so what she wants to see Juliana do is pass that ball away to the open player. And found it in Quaid. Her second free throw is good. And just like that, Quaid has a couple of points. 8-4, to four, T-Birds lead, 14-50 left to go here in the opening half. Right wing three from Olivati is strong, no good. This one's rebounded by Cleveland. Till we met up ahead to Amaya White. Down low for Fortier, who was open, but it gets knocked out of bounds. Great pass by Amaya White. Just got knocked out of bounds by the Eagles. So the T-Birds will reset on offense, leading by four. They get it into Quaid. Finding we met left wing. Puts the ball on the floor with the left hand. Left-handed layup is no good. And it's rebounded by the Eagles' Gremban. She pushes all the other way. Gives it off to Olivati, and she's fouled attempting the layup. So Olivati is going to go to the line to shoot two. Olivati, a sophomore. This one goes against Quaid. Each team now with two team fouls. Olivani puts her first free throw up. It's too strong. First substitution of the game for the T-Birds is Haley Curtis, five foot seven inch sophomore. Curtis is averaging three points a game. She's a guard. Where's number fifteen? Replacing Cleveland. Second free throw is good. So Olivani makes it a three point game. Eight five. T-Birds leading as we met. Brings it into the front court. Finds Haley. Back out high, Amaya White, off to the right side, right wing for Quaid into the corner for Haley. Haley Curtis, looking for a good shooting night here. She'd like to have one. White has it at the top. Back to Haley Curtis, drives into the paint. Left baseline jumper is good from Lily Fortier. Her first bucket of the night. And the T-Birds are doubling up the Eagles 10-5. That is almost until this layup attempt the Eagles miss it, and the T-Birds get it. Haley Curtis now up ahead to Fortier, who travels. Substitutions for the Eagles as McKinney Parnovich checks in. And also Carly Hulescamp. Hulescamp is averaging 7.3 a game, and Parnovich is averaging 3.5. So the Eagles with the ball down 5. Battle of the Birds here tonight. Eagles and T-Birds. Layup down low is good by Hulescamp, who just checked in. Strong move down low. And it's a 10-7 game. T-Birds still leading. 13-30 left to go here in the opening half. Curtis with it out high. Amaya White to Lily Fortier. Left wing three. Yes! Five points now for Fortier. 13-7. T-Birds have a six-point advantage with 13-16 to go here in the opening half. Now we get a 
push down low. I thought they were going to say that Parnovich had stepped out of bounds or stepped on the baseline. Instead, they're saying she was pushed. This one goes against Amaya White, her first. Three now against the T-Birds, and we get a timeout called by Northland Pines. So with that timeout, we're going to step aside as well for 30 seconds. Lakeland leading Northland Pines 13-7 with 13-13 left to go in the opening half. You're listening to Lakeland Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. Hi, this is Jill Yeldon of Bolger Cremation and Funeral Services. For over 124 years, Bolger Funeral Home has been serving the Lakeland area and has always been a strong advocate of Lakeland Thunderbird Athletics. We encourage you, now more than ever, to support our local athletics. Athletics for our students, promoting health, self-confidence, and teamwork. Go T-Birds! Cool 95.9 Great Northern Conference girls basketball for you here on Cool 95.9. The conference right now, Mosinee leads th with a 3-0 record. Medford's 2-0. Quick inbounds pass for the Eagles goes to Mackenzie Parnovich. She makes the basket. It's 13-9. Great play set up by Coach Alavati. Setting it up for the Eagles, who are now within four. On the other side of Maya White, right wing three, no good. This one's rebounded by the Eagles. I think Juliana Wimet's going to be called for her first personal as she was attempting to come from behind Alavati to get, knock that basketball away, and it is her first. And whenever you play the Lakeland Thunderbirds as an opposing coach, you want to try to get Wimet into foul trouble. Juliana's done a nice job of staying out of it as we got a travel call against Lucy Lurvie, so the Eagles turn it back over. And Julianne is an outstanding offensive player, but folks, she's even better on defense. She plays so hard. She has a knack for wherever the ball is. One of the best rebounders in the state. She's just a fantastic all-around player. She's got it, drives down the lane. I think she wanted to take it. Now she kicks it back out to Curtis. Curtis at the top, swinging around to Amaya White, right wing. Amaya with a little give and go from Quaid, and she can't handle the ball down low. It goes out of bounds. Turning it back over to the Eagles. Checking in for the first time tonight is Emily Rotier Dungmala for the Northland Pines Eagles. Dungmala is a 5 foot 5 inch sophomore. Where's number 10? The guard is averaging four points a game. 13 9, T Birds lead. Eagles break the press. Laying it up is Parnovich. She's got four. T Birds lead at 13 to 11. It was a six point advantage, down to two. 12-12 left to go. We met three left wing. Good, Juliana. Boy, she drives so hard, but her shot is getting better and better every day. And now a travel called against Northland Pines on Dungmala. So the T-Birds get it back, leading by five. Feel a little burst coming here for the T-Birds. Haley Curtis, right corner, three off the rim. No good. This one's rebounded by Lurvie. Trying to get it up ahead. It was tapped away by Wimet, stolen away by the T-Birds. Curtis lays it up. No good, but she's fouled. Two shots coming for Haley Curtis. Great job by the T-Birds, pressing the inbounds. Of course, as I was just saying, Wimet, such a great defender, got a paw on that one, knocked it down, got it back, gave it to Curtis. Who makes the first free throw? Haley's averaging three points a game. Substitutions for both sides for the first time, I should say, yeah. Tonight, Jolie Kohler, Jolie Kaler checks back in. Replacing Lily Fortier. Second free throw from Curtis is no good. Tried to track down her own rebound, but Neff got the hands on that one. T-Birds with some pressure in the backcourt. Eagles break it, get it down to Parnovich, lays it up, no good. Gets knocked out of bounds, last touch by the T-Birds. So on the court for the T-Birds is Haley Curtis, Juliana Wimet, Demaya White, Jolie Kaler, and Camille Quaid. T-Birds four and two. Young season, obviously. The Eagles will inbound. They get it into Parnovich, takes a shot, short, no good, rebounded by Kaler. 
Gets it to Quaid, up ahead to We Met. T-Birds with the ball and a six-point lead, 11.30 to go in the opening half. We Met drives, she's fouled. We Met's going to the line to shoot two. So had a sprained ankle last Wednesday. Really tried to give it a go Thursday. You could see in warm-up she could play, but definitely favoring the ankle. I don't see that at all tonight. First free throw is short, no good. So second free throw coming up for we met, trying to give the T-Birds a seven-point advantage. And she does. So we met one of two from the line, has eight points. And now the ball stolen away by Curtis. She lays it up and in. <laughs> that T-Bird press giving the Eagles some problems right now. Quick two points from Curtis and now driving the other way and scoring is Gremban. That's a good-looking freshman, folks. Northland Pines is going to have a good one for years to come, and now the T-Birds try to get a layup from Quaid. Gets knocked out of bounds. The T-Birds keep the ball. Checking back in is Lurvie and Alavati. Replacing Hules Camp and Dungmala. So Kaler will inbound. Tries to get it in underneath the basket to Quaid, but this one's stolen away by Grimban. And now the ball's poked away from behind by Curtis, and the T-Birds get the steal. We met, drives, lays it, hands it off, I should say, to Curtis. Layup is short, and now she tries to get it back to We met, gets knocked out of bounds by the Eagles. So Haley Curtis couldn't hit the layup, and it gets knocked out of bounds, so the T-Birds will inbound. We met right on the K of the Lakeland baseline. Curtis has it near the top, off to the right of Maya White. Wide open three, right corner we met. Strong, no good. This one's rebounded by Lurvey. Lurvey brings it up, gives it to Neff, who's fouled. This one's going to go against Kaler. That'll be her first. Team's fifth. So on Thursday night, Kaler fouled out. But with 36.4 seconds left, quick inbounds play set up for part of it. She misses. Maya White with the rebound. Gives it off to We Met. We Met sees a wall, so she kicks it out to Quaid. Back to White at the top. Ball over her head. Off to the left. Juliana We Met. Left corner now for Quaid. Puts the ball on the floor. Drives. Kicks it out to We I should say Amaya White. Spin move in the paint. Off the glass. No good. And it's rebounded by the Eagles. Gremban brings it into the front court. Dribbling the whole way, drives, layup is good. I like this kid, folks. Seven points in the first half, averaging 15 and a half a game. Now the ball is poked away from we met. Yeah, we know Northland Pines has certainly had their struggles, but when you get a young player like Gremban, you can see she's got the ability to drive and score, plays good defense. She's going to be a good part of this Eagles team for the next four years playing as a freshman. T-Birds lead it 20-15 to 15 with the ball. Get it in to Quaid. Out high for we met. Right wing three. Short no good. Rebounded by Haley Curtis. Lays it up and in. Five points for the sophomore. And the T-Bird lead is seven. 9.47 left to go here in the opening half. Lurvy gets it down low to her teammate Alavati who lays it in. And now we get a timeout from head coach Josh Alavati. So at that time out, we're going to step aside as well. T-Birds lead it 22-17 to with 9.42 left to go in the opening half. This is a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Lakeland Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. Lakeland Signing Graphics says go T-Birds. Here's to a winning season. When you need a sign, you need Lakeland Signing Graphics. New businesses need signs, and how about vehicle graphics? From billboard wraps to aero signs, the newest digital signage to storm damage repairs. When you need design services, they have accredited graphic designers to make it easy for you to get your image right. Let their business enhance yours. Lakeland Signing Graphics. Call 356-7446. That's 356-SIGN. Cool 95.9. Mr. Mike Mustel playing Old Town Road during the break. Saw some people getting up dancing. They love that one. 9.42 left to go here in the opening half. 22-17. T-Birds with the lead and the basketball. 
we met brings it into the front court. Kicks it out to Curtis, left wing, fires for three, no good, and fighting for the rebound is we met. She's going to be called for her second personal. She was behind the Eagles trying to come up with that basketball. So two fouls on we met. 9.32 left to go here in the opening half. Gremban gets the inbound, back to Lurvy. Full court press, and now we met, steals it, but we get a double dribble called before the steal. So it does go back to the T-Birds as it is, but we met right there to cause that one. Been doing it all year, all year and a half. Did it her freshman year. Major problem on defense for opposing teams. One of the best aspects of her game, Amaya White with it. Ball over her head, back to the basket. Now she's dribbling against Lurvy. Off to the left, Jolie Kohler. Kaler, I should say, till we met. Left baseline, drives and scores. So good going to her left for a right-handed player. That's impressive. T-Birds lead at 24-17. On the other side, Alavati three, no good. This one's rebounded by Weber. Now stolen away by we met. Anticipated that pass, drives all the way down the lane. Layup, good. We met gets so low as she gets close to the basket. Teams think she's going to go high and lay it up with the right hand. She goes underneath their arms and lays it in with a scoop. Very smooth. Tebers lead at 26-17. The Eagles throw it away on the other end. Now we get a full timeout by Josh Olivati, but this time we'll keep it here. 8.42 left to go in the opening half. Tebers leading 26-17. Quickly add up Juliana's points. She's got 12 of the T-Birds 26 points in the first 10 minutes of this half. About 9 minutes and 18 seconds. So yeah, I was telling you about the Great Northern Conference. And right now, Mosini leads the conference with a 3-0 record. Medford's 2-0. Of course, they knocked off Lakeland here last week. We have a pretty good feeling that score would have been different if we met could have played the whole time, right? You never know. you got to give the other team credit. But we bet only played about three minutes in that one. And Medford went on to win that one by 13 points. But they are in second place now with that 2-0 record. Just a half a game behind Mosinee. Lakeland right behind them at 2-1. Then you've got a host of teams with one win or no wins. And Rhinelanders 1-2. Northland Pines is 1-2. And, and it goes 0-2. And, and Tomahawk is 0-2. Of course, Lakeland the favorites to win the Great Northern Conference. But now they're behind two teams. They'll get a crack at Medford once again. They have yet to play Mosinee, who they will play twice this season. So after the timeout, the T-Birds get the basketball with a nine-point advantage. Amaya White to Camille Quaid. Ball is lost, stolen away by Grenban, but Quaid gets it back. And Grenban's right behind, trying to steal it again. Quaid hangs on into the left corner. We met, wide open three, yes! Juliana, we met, drills the three. 15 points in the opening half, and the T-Birds lead at 29-17. Now White's going to be called for the foul as the Northland Pines Eagles were trying to get it into the right side. So for Amaya, that's her second. A couple of substitutions for the Eagles. Now they're just doing one right now as Parnovich checks in, replacing Weber. And the T-Birds are over the limit with seven team fouls. So Grenban shooting the one and one and gets the first. A friendly roll bounces up and down. First free throw of the night is good. Earns the second. Of course, we saw we met as a freshman last year. Grenban pretty good herself. Second free throw is good as well. So she's two of two. Overall, Grenband's four of six. I should say the Eagles are four of six as Grenband now takes a seat. Replaced by Neff, I believe. Or no, excuse me, Hules Camp checked back in. So Haley Curtis with the basketball dribbling near the top. Gets it down low to Kaler, lays it in. Beautiful play set up by the T-Birds who lead it 31-19 with eight minutes to go here in the opening half. Hules Camp brings it into the front court, finds Lurvy. Lurvy puts it on the floor, back to a wide open. Hules Camp down low, who lays it in. It's a 10 point lead for the T Birds, 31 21, 746 and counting. 
Amaya White with a three at the top. This one misses everything, no good. Goes out of bounds. Lily Fortier checks back in, replacing White. So foul-wise, we met has two, White has two. Taylor has two, and the Eagles nearly turn it away. Lurvy recovers. Got to pass it out of the double team, and instead stolen away by Wimet. She's going to drive all the way down the lane, lay up good, and the foul. Anticipated where that ball was going to go out of the double team. Right there, comes away with the steal, drove it all the way, scored. And the foul, this one went against Hules Camp, her first. Taking a break is Neff for the Eagles as we met. Tries to complete the three-point play. And this one's good. So the T-Birds now lead 34-21. And now we get a travel called. Again, we met. Forced Grenban to go to her left. Tried to go back, and instead she traveled with the basketball. Turning it back over to the T-Birds, who now have a 13-point lead, biggest lead of the night, 34-21. And Lily Fortier will inbound the sophomore. Ball over her head. Gets it into Jolie Kaler, 5 foot 11 inches tall. And the ball gets knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Hewell's camp, I believe. So the T-Birds will inbound it once again. 18 points so far for We Met. Inbounded to Quaid, back out to Kaler. Finds We Met, right elbow, turns around, drives, misses the layup, and this one's rebounded by Parnovich. Gives it to Lurvy. Lurvy drives, tried to get it down low to Hules Camp, stolen away by Quaid. Quaid brings it the other way, now stops, finds We Met at the top. Fakes the three, gives it back uh, to Quaid, who drives, I should say, drills the three. <laughs> Great job by Quaid, the senior with her first field goal of the night. She's got five, and now Curtis steals it. Drives the other way, layup, no good, but she's fouled. Two shots coming for Haley Curtis. Haley has been impressive on the defensive end here tonight, giving herself second opportunities. This one goes against Grumban. That's her second. Team sixth. And now we get a timeout. This is a full timeout by Northland Pines. So we're going to step aside for one minute. Lakeland leading Northland Pines 37-21 with 6.43 left to go here in the opening half. You're li listening to T-Bird Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. Wishing the best of luck to the Lakeland T-Bird basketball teams this season. Since 1939, Woodruff Appliance and TV has been scoring with customers in the Northwoods with low prices on appliances, furniture, mattresses, and electronics, plus top-notch customer service. The staff's knowledge of the products they sell sets Woodruff Appliance and TV high above the competition. Let them help you select your new appliances, furniture, mattresses, and electronics with prices to fit any budget. See you at Woodruff Appliance and TV this season. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Philadelphia. Local time is 3.05 p.m. and the temperature is 67 degrees. At this time, you are now free to use your cellular devices. You know that feeling when you get to turn your phone on after the plane lands? You can have that feeling every time you drive. Make sure your cell phone is stowed away whenever you are behind the wheel. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Cool, 95.9. Lakeland leading 37-21 over Northland Pines as Haley Curtis goes to the line for the first of her two attempts. The first is up in the air and good. She's got six in the opening half, doubling up her average. Averaging three a game, trying to give herself seventh point on the night. And this one's a swish. Three of four from the charity stripe. And Curtis is going to take a seat. Handshakes from all of the teammates as Cleveland checks back in. Eagles will bring it up against some pressure. And now it's knocked away by Cleveland. Eagles can save it. Now it's a little wild going into the left corner. It gets knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Kaler. They're trying to get it to Neff. So the Eagles will inbound, now trailing by 18. Largest. Oh, excuse me, they are calling a foul against Kaler. 
So that's her second, team's eighth. So Neff goes to the line for the one and one and misses the first. So it's rebounded by the T-Bird. She's one of three from the line. So Lily Fortier has it left baseline. Till we met, back to Fortier, out high for Quaid, fires a three, no good. And it goes out of bounds. I was looking at Quaid because I thought she might have been hit, but I think she was just laughing because she didn't hit any of the rim that she wanted to there. So gave it back to the Eagles, and now we met, knocks it away. Quaid steals it. Tried to get it back to we met, but this time Parnovich was able to get the basketball. She's double teamed, got to find someone to give it to, and finds her teammate Hules Camp up ahead to Grumban, who checked back in. Right side, Weber. Weber has it knocked away by Fortier and stolen away. Till we met, up ahead to Quaid. Quaid's going to drive all the way down. Layup is good, and the foul. Quaid, great position for the land. She's got an opportunity at a three-point play herself. This one goes against Hules Camp, her second. Great job by Quaid. She's got seven. Lurvy checks back in, along with Dungmala for Northland Pines. As Quaid gets set for the free throw. And this one's off the back iron, no good, but we met, tracks down the rebound. T-Birds with the ball and a 20-point lead, 5.48 and counting here in the opening half. Fortier off to the right, finds Cleveland, right corner now Kaler. Ball over her head, now puts it on the floor with the left hand, back to the basket, finds a Wemet. Wemet gets a screen from Kaler, drives, and now she's going to be called for the travel. Wemet was trying to get around Dungmala, and the officials caught her for a travel, so the turnover gives it back to the Eagles. Tabers with some pressure in the backcourt, and it's stolen away. Lily Fortier knocked it away. We met recovered, misses the land, and it's rebounded by the Eagles. Grumban brings it the other way off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Kaler. Now great Grumban steals the pass from Kaler. She was trying to get it to Quaid, and a foul is called. If that goes against Kaler, that would be her third. Nope, this one goes against Quaid, her second. Team's ninth. So a one and one coming for Grunban, who is two of two from the charity stripe. First free throw is up and no good. Missed everything. Rebounded by Kaler. Up ahead to We Met. We Met kicks it over to the right side for Cleveland. Cleveland cross court over to Quaid, nearly stolen away by the Eagles, and Quaid drives. Loose ball. And they're calling a uh, foul, I believe against the Eagles. This one may go against Weber, who was defending on that play. It is against Weber, that's her second. Team's eighth, so a one and one coming for Quaid. She is two of three from the charity stripe here tonight. Make it three of four as she hits the first. White checks back in for the T-Birds, replacing Cleveland. Eagles with some substitutions as well as Parnovich checks in along with Olivati replacing Weber and also Dungmala. Quaid eyes the free throw and this one is good. So two of two on that trip, four of five overall on the night. And now we met, comes away with another steal on the press, misses the lay-in, puts, puts it back up after getting her own rebound. We met now has 20. It's 45-21, T-Birds, 449 and counting. Gremban, long three, in and out, no good. Rebounded down low by Parnovich. She puts it back up and in, 45-23 for Tier. Drives and she's fouled. That'll be nine team fouls against the Eagles. Tierney Belt's getting set to check in for the first time here tonight. This one goes against Parnovich. That's her first. Team's ninth. Each team now, nine team fouls. First free throw from Fortier. In and out and back in. That's her first trip to the line here tonight. Makes the first, earns the second, and checking in is Tierney Belts. Five foot nine inch sophomore 
Whereas number 42, the forward is averaging a point of contest. Second free throw from Fortier is good. She's got seven. 47-23, Lakeland leading Northland Pines. And now the ball is kicked out of bounds by Grumban. But they're saying it was last touched by the T-Birds. Trying to save that one. Must have been a Fortier. Got a hand on it. 47-23, Lakeland. Biggest lead in the night so far, 24 points. Quick shot from the left baseline is no good from Parnovich. Rebounded by Lakeland. I believe we met, got that rebound. Nice pass down low from Fortier to Kaler as she lays it in. Kaler's got four. Lakeland's lead is now 26, 49 to 23. Stopping and popping from the right baseline on the other side is Neff. It's good. T-Bird lead, 49, 25, three from the top from we met is no good, rebounded by Grumban. Grumban up ahead quickly to Neff. Neff stops and pops once again, in and out no good. Amaya White gets the tap out rebound. Fortier has it. Gets it back to the top for we met. It's gonna drive against the double team. Kicks it out to the left side for Fortier. Long two is no good. And this one's rebounded. By Parnovich, who's going to drive the other way. Poked away from behind by We Met. Out of bounds. Last touched by the T-Birds. So the Eagles will inbound. 3.31 and counting. Lakeland leading 49-25. Inbounds play set up for Grumban at the top. Off to the left. Parnovich, three swish. Parnovich, four field goals. That's her first three, so she's got nine. It's a 21-point advantage for Lakeland, 49-28, 3.18 to play. We're in the opening half from Monaco tonight on Cool 95.9, online worldwide at WMQA.com, and also worldwide streaming by the Lakeland Union High School media productions team as the T-Birds turn it over. And head coach Melissa we met wants a timeout. So with that time out, we will step aside as well. This is a one-minute break. T-Birds leading, I should say 30 seconds, excuse me, 30-second timeout. 49-28, Lakeland leading. Northland Pines with 3.05 left to go in the first. You're listening to T-Bird Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. There's no stronger craving than a Culver's Concrete Mixer craving. Every handcrafted concrete mixer starts with our famously fresh frozen custard made batch after batch for a most decadent dessert. Choose a flavor, then add your favorite mix-ins, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, cookie dough, real strawberry, whatever thy craving commands. Cure your craving for a Culver's Concrete Mixer today. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's in Manaqua wishes the Lakeland T-Bird basketball teams good luck this season. Cool 95.9. I'd like to thank our sponsors of T-Bird's Girls Basketball this season. Bolger Funeral and Cremation Services. Craig Farrell, your State Farm agent in Manaqua. Culver's of Arbor Vita. Lakeland Sinographics. As Juliana, we met, comes away with a steal and a score. As we're thanking our sponsors, Woodruff Appliance and TV and Extreme Clean. Monaco. That was an extreme clean pick right there by Juliana. We met. And now the lay in the other way by Hewles Camp. It's 51 30. Lakeland leading. Now Hewles Camp comes away with the steal. Up ahead, Dan losing it this time was Neff. And now Amaya White and Neff hook up. And let's see who the foul is going to go against. Looks like it's going to go against the Eagles. It is against Lurvy, her first. And now we're in the double bonus situation. Ten team fouls against the Eagles. So Amaya White's going to go to the line for two. First free throw is good. Hits the front of the rim. Bounces off the back iron and the glass and back down. Quaid checks back in, replacing Kaler. Amaya White had a nice night last Thursday night, she scored 17 in the loss against Metford. Her second free throw also dances around the rim like Richard Simmons and goes in. She's got four. The T-Bird lead is 23 now, 53 to 30. 227 left to go, and now we met, knocks it out of bounds as they were trying to get it down low to Hewell's camp. We met, saw that one happening, knocked it out of bounds, so... Inbounding it will be the Eagles. They get it into Grimban, cross court. 
Over to Alavati into the right corner. Heels camp drives. Blocked from behind by Tierney Belts, who recovers the basketball and gives it to White. Great job by Belts. And now on the other side, T-Birds have it down low to Amaya White. Up and in against a double team. Amaya White got that basketball from Lily Fortier. Turned around. She had two eagles on her. She just turned around, threw it up. It went right in. Great shot. Lurvey has it down low. Drive scores. Lurvey's got some good offensive power powerless as well. Prowless. Emphasize. <laughs> we met with it. T-Birds lead 55-32. White three. No good. Fighting for the rebound. We met gets it down low. Turns around. Lays it up. Good. When we met gets the basketball down low, you're not going to stop her, folks. 24 points for the sophomore. T-Birds lead at 57-32. Right baseline shot from Neff is good. She's got five. And it's 57-34 now. Biggest lead I have for the T-Birds was 26. It's now 23 with 110 left to go in the opening half. We met. Ball on the floor. Dribbling with the left hand. Kicks it out to Maya White. White. Against Lurvey, now goes off to her right for Lily Fortier. Fakes the three, drives off the glass. No good, rebounded by Grimban. Left to right we go on your radio dial. Grimban brings it up. Road Blues puts a shot up on the right baseline. Was Hules Camp, no good. Fight for it on the rebound. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow goes to the T-Birds. That's the first jump ball I've seen tonight. As Kaler checks in, replacing belts. T-Birds leading 57-34 with 46 seconds left here in the opening half. Recap the scoring for you. During our halftime break, Quaid off to the right four tier. Puts the ball on the floor, dribbles to her left. A little give and go down to Quaid. Shot up no good. She's fouled by Grimban. Two shots coming for Camille Quaid and for Grimban, that's going to be her third. When you're averaging 15 points a game, you got to figure out a way to stay in the game, and she's got three personal fouls. 33 seconds left in the half as Quaid goes to the line. Her first free throw is no good. Weber checks back in for the Eagles. And Curtis checking back in for the T-Birds. Replacing Juliana Wimet, who I believe gets her first break of the night. Quaid's second free throw, in and out, no good, and it's rebounded by the Eagles' Hules camp. Brings it into the front court against Curtis to the top. Lurvey, three, no good. Rebounded by Neff, puts the shot back up, no good. Fighting for the rebound, Quaid comes down with it. 19 seconds, T-Birds have a shot at the last basket of the half. 13 seconds. Quaid to Amaya White off to the right. Gets a screen from Quaid. Drives and misses the lay-in. Fighting for the rebound. He gets knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Quaid. Neff was in the area for the Eagles. And she will inbound with 5.7 seconds left. Nope, they switch it up. And Lurvey will now inbound with some pressure in the backcourt from Curtis. 5.7 seconds left. Eagles get it in. Down to Weber, who drives from the right baseline. Shot up no good. Kaler with the rebound. Ball gets knocked out of bounds, but not before time expires on the opening half. Good one for the T-Birds, who lead it 57-34 over Northland Pines. Well, we're going to step aside, take a break. When we come back, we'll recap the first half stats for you after this. You are listening to Lakeland Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. Manaqua's local State Farm agent, Craig Farrell, on Highway J, would like to wish good luck to the Lakeland T-Bird basketball teams. With Craig Farrell handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time to handle everything else. More money, too, because adding State Farm policies can earn discounts that could add up to 40% and actually help you get ahead. Call State Farm agent Craig Farrell in Manaqua today and get to a better state with State Farm. Discounts may vary state to state. There are over 9 billion animals raised on farms and ranches across the country each year. For far too long, those animals were not afforded protections to ensure their humane treatment and care. Luckily, times have changed, and more and more farmers are raising their animals in accordance with the American Humane's Ethical and Science. Thank 
Jerry Thompson? Uh, yeah. Will you come with me, please? Um, okay. Hey Gary, hi. So you uh, were in close contact with someone who tested positive for COVID. So you're gonna have to go home for 14 days. Do you have a ride that uh, somebody can call to get a ride home? Well, who was it? I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Fine, whatever, just let me call my dad. Due to a surge of positive cases of the novel coronavirus in our local school district, Lakeland Union High School, in-person learning has been suspended until further notice. In other news, many cats have climbed into a tree and suddenly babies have decided to run up there and save them. However, when the babies were bringing the cats on the way back down from the tree, they decided... Exciting right here on Cool 95.9. Feeling festive. And we're feeling festive here as the T-Birds lead it by 23 points. Let's get you caught up on the first half scoring for Northland Pines. They are led in scoring by Nora Grimban. The freshman has nine points. That includes a three. She went two of three from the charity stripe for her nine points in the first half. And Mackenzie Parnovich also has nine points. She had three field goals, four field goals, but one of them was a three. So nine points for Parnovich. The rest of the scoring, Kelty Neff with five. Two points for Lucy Lurvey. Three points for Hedley Olavati. And Carly Hulescamp with six. So again... Hulescamp with six, Alavadi with three, Gremban with nine, two for Lurvy, five for Neff, and nine for Partovich. T-Birds lead it at the half over Northland Pines, 57-34. We'll check in with the Lakeland girls after this. You're listening to T-Bird Basketball on Cool 95.9. Extreme Clean of Manaqua, owned and operated by Blake and Ben Berry, proud Lakeland Union alumnus, give a loud shout out to Lakeland student athletes. Extreme Clean is here to support and cheer on their team, so come on, T Birds, let's clean house! Give Extreme Clean of Manaqua a chance to compete for your business. Extreme Clean offers commercial and residential cleaning, carpets, windows, heating, and cooling ducts and vents. Extreme Clean also offers post construction cleanup. Call for your free consultation and quote today, 358 9511. Do you worry about how much someone drinks? Do you feel angry or depressed most of the time? Do you feel neglected or unloved? Do you feel you attract people who tend to be compulsive or abusive? Do you have money problems because of someone else's drinking? Are you afraid or embarrassed to bring your friends home? Do you feel that if the drinker loved you, she or he would stop drinking? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you are not alone. More than half of all adults have a family history of alcoholism. Not everyone trapped by alcohol is an alcoholic. Families and friends are suffering too. Al-Anon and Alateen can help. Call 1-866-200-0223 or visit alanon.org slash help. Hey, Kevin, thinking about saving for retirement? Yeah, but how do I start? It's easy with Avvo, a retirement coach. Let's learn the Avvo bet. A is for taking action. Not anxiety? No, Kevin, you're going to be fine. You sick? Barely. V is for variety. Huh, change up my strategy. Okay. O is for optimize your savings. Let Avvo lead the way. Visit aceyourretirement.org today. today. A message from AARP and the Ad Council. Cool 95.9. Welcome back to Lakeland Union High School girls basketball on Cool 95.9 online at WMQA.com. And tonight, streaming live thanks to the Lakeland Union High School Media Productions Department and their teacher, Mr. Yaki, always doing a nice job here at Lakeland so the folks can see the game as well as hear the game. Lakeland leading 57 to 34. We're at the half. The JV team won, by the way, tonight, 41 to 33. So the T-Birds trying to make it a clean sweep here. Just a few days left, folks, to ring the bells for the Salvation Army with the Red Kettle Campaign. 
It'll be going on until 5 p.m. Christmas Eve. Go to register registertoring.com. That's registertoring.com to get signed up for a shift at Triggs, Save More Marketplace, and also Walmart in Manaqua. Help raise money for a great cause. Well, we gave you the Northland Pine stats. Let's take a look at the Lakeland High School girls stats and leading the scorebook, Juliana. We met 24 points in the first half. How <laughs> about that super sophomore? Yeah, there's a reason a lot of colleges are watching her and the fact that she's got two scholarship offers already on the table from Kansas State and UW-Milwaukee. 24 points for the super sophomore in the first half. Seven for Haley Curtis, six for Amaya White, nine for Camille Quaid, Lily Fortier with seven, and Joe Lee Kaler with four. Lakeland leading 57-34. We're at the half. When we come back, we'll bring you the second half after this. You're listening to Lakeland Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. Hi, this is Jill Yeldon of Bolger Cremation and Funeral Services. For over 124 years, Bolger Funeral Home has been serving the Lakeland area and has always been a strong advocate of Lakeland Thunderbird Athletics. We encourage you, now more than ever, to support our local athletics. Athletics for our students, promoting health, self-confidence, and teamwork. Go T-Birds! When you need them, your local volunteer fire department routinely answers the call. Whether it be a fire, traffic accident, or a cat stuck in a tree, there is always someone there for you. However, because of declines in memberships, departments are becoming understaffed and struggling. Here's how you can help your neighbors and your community. No matter what skills you may possess, you can make a difference. Your local volunteer fire department desperately needs your help. Can you direct traffic? Install a smoke alarm. Help at fundraisers. Your community needs you. You don't have to fight fire to be a volunteer. Will you make that difference? Will you answer the call? Brought to you by the National Volunteer Firefighter Recruitment Center, a program service of the Volunteer Firefighter Alliance. For more information on how you can help and make a difference, visit www.nvfrc.org. That's www.nvfrc.org. The American Red Cross urgently needs blood and platelet donations and asks all healthy donors to schedule an appointment to give now. With the coronavirus outbreak, it is important to maintain a sufficient blood supply. Your blood donation is critical and can help save lives. Please, schedule an appointment today. Download the Blood Donor app, visit redcrossblood.org, or call 1-800-RED-CROSS today. You can make a difference. Cool 95.9. Lakeland leading Northland Pines at the half in girls basketball, 57 to 34. We're getting set to start the second half. Before we do so, let me get you caught up on some scores from around the area. At the half, Rhinelander leads Antigo, 28 to 18. Rebecca Lawrence with 15 to lead Rhinelander. I should say uh, for Rhinelander, 15 points for Rebecca Lawrence. They lead Antigo at the half, 28-18. Also in a good girls basketball game tonight, the top two teams in the league squaring off right now, record-wise at least. And that's Medford and Mosini. And right now, Mosini is leading 34-18 to in that one. Again, Lakeland has a loss. It happened last Thursday to Medford. They did play without super sophomore Juliana we met for most of that game. But the T-Birds will certainly get another crack at them. We're back to action now. And Northland Pines going right to left as we see it here in their road blue uniforms. Lakeland in their home white uniforms leading 57-34. to 34. Just underway here in the second half. T-Birds look like they're in a 1-2-1 or a 1-2-2 depending on how, how players move. Down to the right baseline. Quick shot from Neff is no good. Rebounded by Amaya White. T-Birds now going left to right as we see it. Cleveland has it to the top for Amaya White. White. Scoop pass down to the right baseline. Back out for We Met, who drives. Puts a shot up. This one's no good. We Met with the rebound. I should say White with the rebound, but she loses it. And Neff steals it. So back the other way we go until Juliana We Met just stole the basketball. Lays it up and in. 26 points for We Met. And the T-Bird lead is 25. 
17-10 to go in this basketball game. Into the right corner for Neff. Long stopping and popping, no good. Amaya White with the rebound, now fighting for it. Jump ball is called as she was fighting along with Grace Weber. Jump ball is called. Possession arrow goes to the T-Birds. 59-34, Lakeland leading, 17-04, left to go. Everybody set for Christmas, folks, and New Year's. Hopefully great time to spend with family. Please be safe if you gather. T-Birds with the basketball. Lily Fortier cross court over to Quaid. Thought about the three. Goes off to the left where we met. Gets a screen from Quaid. Kicks it out to Fortier. Left side. Now cross court over to Cleveland. Cleveland finds we met and sets a screen for her. So we met. Drives down the lane. Shot up is no good. No foul called as the Eagles get the rebound. Give it off to super freshman Gremban. Drives all the way down. Layup is too strong. No good. Rebounded by Fortier. T-Birds with the basketball and a 25-point lead as we met drives. Layup was no good, but she's fouled. See who this one goes against. Looks like it's Weber. That's her third. Team's first of the second half. Now a substitution. As Parnovich checks in, replacing Weber in those three personal fouls. Inbounds play, set up four. We met, gets a screen from Quaid, drives, left-handed scoop is too short, no good. Rebounded by Parnovich. Parnovich dribbling against We met. Now she's going to be double teamed by We met in Cleveland, gets it across to Lurvy. Lurvy, dri Lurvy dribbling, dribbling, that is, near the free throw line, off to the right for Gremban. Finds Lurvy at the top. Ball over her head. Black mask on, hands it off to Parnovich. Now it's stolen away by We Met. They dive for it. It's on the floor, and Lurvy picks it back up for the Eagles. Drives and scores. Got a nice screen from Neff. And Lurvy has four. It's 59 36. Lakeland with a commanding lead. Quaid, right wing three. This one's short, no good. Rebounded by Grimban. Back the other way we go. Grimban tried to hit her teammate. Parnovich too strong. It goes out of bounds. Lakeland will get the basketball back. I see a camera here. Guessing it's from our friends down at Newswatch 12, WJFW. As the T-Birds lead it, 59-36. Little give and go from We Met to Cleveland, back to We Met, and a travel is going to be called against Juliana. Got a little push as she was driving towards the basket. Must have forced her to take an extra step. So the Eagles will inbound. Some sad news in the world of football today. I'll tell you about that in just a second. As Lurvy has it with some pressure in the backcourt. It's got a break. It gets it up ahead to Grimban. Grimban with a little bounce pass to the right for Neff. Lost the basketball. Stolen away by the T-Birds. Goes out of bounds. Last touch to my Pines. So Kevin Green passed away today. Great linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Also was an assistant coach for the Packers. He was an assistant coach on that 2010 Super Bowl team. I got to interview Kevin Green down in Dallas before the Super Bowl. Amaya White, top of the key three, no good. Rebounded down low by Fortier, up and in, and the foul. Lily Fortier gets the basket to go. Plus the foul's got an opportunity at a three-point play. This one's against Grumban. That's her fourth. So four tier to the line. Eyes the rim. Going for her tenth point. This one's no good, but a foul called. This one's against the T-Birds on the free throw. Gives it back to the Eagles. Yeah, Kevin Green. Do a quick search for Kevin. I believe he passed away at the age of 58. Way too young. As Lurvy brings it into the front court. Yep, he passed away at the age of 58. Now it's stolen away by Quaid. Drives the other way, all the way down. Lays it up too strong. No good. We met with the rebound and score. 28 points for we met. T-Bird lead is 63-36. And now a foul called on the other side. I was able to interview Kevin Green. You get a lot of great access before the Super Bowl with the players and coaches and... This one goes against We Met, by the way, her third. And Kevin Green was so excited about his linebacking core that year. They had had so many injuries on defense leading up to the Super Bowl. But the Packer defense was playing so well, of course, went on to win Super Bowl 45. T 
T-Bird lead is 63-36, 14-26 to go. Inbound set up for the Eagles. It's stolen away by the T-Birds. Up ahead to Amaya White. Drives, scores, and the foul. Amaya White got behind the defense. And let's see who this foul is against. I believe it's going to go against Hules Camp. It is. That's her third. And Amaya White goes to the line. T-Birds were 72% from the charity stripe in the first half. Amaya so White misses the free throw, but the T-Birds battling for the rebound, and it's tracked down. The loose ball was by Emma Weber, who checked in, 5-foot, 5-inch freshman. The guard is averaging 2.8 per contest. Eagles with the ball. It's part of it in the corner, right corner. Over the top, she finds Weber. Weber dribbling with the left hand into the left corner now. Gets the basketball back. Puts a shot up strong. No good. Rebounded by Quaid. T-Birds with the ball. And now a 29-point lead as we met. Gives it to White. Right baseline. Shot is short. No good. White tracks down the loose ball. Gets it to we met. We met near the free throw line. Dribbles into the paint. Shot up. Bodies hit the floor. Shot's no good. Rebounded by the Eagles. Weber. Everyone got back up. Good to see. Eagles with the ball. Trailing 65-36. 13-27 and counting here in the opening half. Lurvy at the free throw line. Off to the right for Hughes Camp. Shot is in and out. No good. And the Eagles get the long tap out rebound. They're able to reset Emma Weber. Goes over to Neff who drives. Shot is up with the left hand. No good. Rebounded is Neff and she puts it back up and in. So Neff has seven. It's 65-38. We met has it at the top. Puts the ball on the floor, drives. Now the whistle is called. She made the basket, but the whistle was called before the shot. So no good for we met. This one's going to go against Hules Camp, her fourth. So she's got four. Grimband's got four. For the T-Birds, only we met with more than two. She's got three. Inbounds play to Amaya White in the paint. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebounded by the Eagles. And now we met nearly came away with the steal, but the Eagles able to break the pressure. Weber dribbling with the left hand. About 10 feet from the arc. 65-38, T-Bird lead with 12.38 to go in this basketball game. Weber gets it down low, tried to get it out high. It's stolen away, and it, it's loose. It gets knocked out of bounds. Last touched by the T-Bird, so the Eagles will reset. Haley Curtis checks in for the T-Birds, replacing Juliana we met. And checking in on the other side is Dungmala for the Eagles, replacing Hules Camp. Lurvy will inbound, gets it out high to Weber. Top of the key, three is short, no good. Weber's going to track down her own rebound. Nope, actually Cleveland does. And now trying to get it up ahead was four tier, but she did not get a strong enough handle on that basketball, so it's stolen away and turned it over right back to the Eagles. Parnovich dribbling with it back out on top for Weber. Tebers look like they're in a 3 2, 3 high, 2 low, 3 2 zone. Dungmala with the basketball, cross court into the right corner for Parnovich. She stops but falls, loses the basketball, and it's stolen away by Quaid. With it now is Haley Curtis, left wing, cross court over to Lily Fortier. Long two is good from Lily. She had one or two steps inside the three-point arc, and it's 67-38. Lakeland leading with 11.35 to play. Weber dribbling with the left hand. Looking left, now looking right, back left, and she finds Dungmala. Dungmala, left wing, has got to find someone because she stopped her dribble off to the right for Lurvy. Lurvy wearing the black mask against Haley Curtis, wearing the black mask, dribbles into the right corner. Dungmala is blocked by Cleveland, rebounded down low by Lurvy. Her shot is up no good, rebounded by Parnovich. Her shot is up and in. It's good, 67-40, and a timeout is called. I believe this is by Northland Pines head coach Josh Olivati. So we're going to step aside as well. A 30-second timeout, Lakeland leading Northland Pines, 67-40, with 11.08 to go in this one in girls basketball. You're listening to T-Bird Basketball on Cool 95.9. You want your business to stand out. Lakeland Signing Graphics is the logical place to start when it comes to getting attention. 
Starting a new business? Lakeland Sign and Graphics offers everything from logo design to professional installation, so your sign is ready when you're ready to open. From simple banners to electronic message centers and everything in between, your new sign will be guaranteed to impress. Call 715-356-7446 to get started. Lakeland Sign and Graphics. Let their business enhance yours. Cool 95.9. Lakeland leading Northland Pines 67 to 40. Was just uh, taking a look at some Kevin Green information during the break, who passed away at the young age of 58. Played for the Steelers, Panthers, Rams, and 49ers. Sometimes you only remember the big time teams that he played for as Kaylor drives, misses her shot. It's rebounded down low. And the jump ball is called, and this time the possession arrow will go to the Eagles. So number 44 checked into the game for the Northland Pines Eagles. I've got that as Carly Hewell's camp on the JV side, but as we know, she's wearing number 30, so we'll have to wait and see who number 44 is. That happens sometimes. We've got a roster without a 44 on it. Now we get a travel called. T-Birds leading 67-40. to 40. Lurvy will inbound for the Eagles. Lakeland led it at the half and has built upon that lead. And now the ball gets knocked out of bounds. Haley was trying to find Quaid. I should say Curtis and Quaid were on the defense there as Weber was trying to find Lurvy. So the inbounds play for the Eagles gets set up. Bounce pass down low. It's a miss, and we get a foul called on the rebound against might be Kaler. Let's see. This one goes against 44. <laughs> and I see Mike Mustel doing the same thing I am. Who's wearing number 44 tonight? <laughs> As the numbers change. Wasn't that a good soap opera? T-Parts try to get it down low. We met. Saves it for Kaler. Back in. And the Eagles come away with the steal. Lurvy bounces it off her foot. Now out of bounds. A little wild play there. Still waiting to find out who number 44 is, folks. <laughs> Mike Mustel, our voice on the mic. The PA tonight. Public address announcer. Saw him looking around saying, who's number 44 as well? It happens in high school sports, folks. Haley Curtis with the basketball for the T-Birds, who lead it by 27. We met, has the basketball, left elbow. Gets it back out high for Quaid. Finds Amaya White dribbling with the left hand near the free throw line. Drives in the lane, shot is up and good. Gets a friendly roll. And the T-Bird lead is 29, 69-40. Lakeland trying to win its fifth game of the year. Now Northland Pines throws it away. Too high on the pass for Dungmala from Weber. And Lakeland gets it back. Trying to extend to a 30-plus lead if they can get a basket here. As we mentioned, we're streaming live tonight as well on the Lakeland Union High School media production site. Excited about that. Love the fact that they're trying to get as many of these games online due to the attendance restrictions. Long three left wing from White is no good. Rebounded by Kaler. Shot back up no good. She's fouled. Looks like this one's going to go against Neff. I've got her for her first. It's her second. I've got her for her second now. <laughs> Kaler to shoot two at four in the first half. She's got five, makes the first. Kearney Belts checks in for the T-Birds, replacing Quaid. On the other side, Neff is going to get a rest, and she's replaced by Parnovich. I should say Kaler's second free throw is good. Kaler's got six. T-Bird lead is 31. 71 to 40. Biggest lead of the game I've got for Lakeland. Ball gets knocked out of bounds. 15s were battling. That's Curtis along with Weber for the Eagles, and Curtis knocked it out of bounds. So they get it inbounded to Weber. Looking left, finds Lurvy left wing. Being guarded by White, cross court. 
Finding Parnovich. Lost it for a second against We Met. Picked it back up. Weber has it right corner. Cross court now for Dungmala. Shot popping up from the free throw line. No good. Rebounded by We Met. We Met pushing. One on four. Gets into the paint. Bounces it to the left baseline for Kaler. Back out high. Amaya White. Three in and out. No good. Tapped out by Kaler, but saved by Weber. 8.36 and counting. Lakeland leading 71-40 to in this Great Northern Conference battle on the girls' hardwood. Left corner, long two from Weber is no good. Rebounded by Kaler and fought for down low. Foul is going to be called. This one's going to be a push against Pines. And a one and one coming as that puts Northland Pines over the limit. So they just mentioned who that was. Tried my best to hear it, did not hear it. So some wholesale changes for Northland Pines. Amaya White's gonna get a break for the T-Birds as Kaler goes to the line. This is a one and one. And misses the first. She was two of two. Now two of three. Ball gets knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Grunban. She couldn't save it. So Lakeland gets it back. 8-19 and counting. Lakeland leading 71-40. to So now we met. Dribbles with the basketball. Gives it off to Kaler. Driving into the paint. Kicks it out to Lily Fortier. Left side. Bounces it to we met. Drives into the paint. Long eight-foot floater is good. That was pretty. She's got 30. Lakeland's lead is 33. Eight minutes left in this one. Northland Pines. Grumban with it. Tries to bounce it to the right elbow. It's stolen away by We Met. One on two. Drives all the way. Right-handed scoop from the left side is no good. Grumban with the rebound. Grimban brings it into the front court. Gets it down low to Hewell's camp. Shot up no good, but she's pushed and fouled. Believe this one's going to go against Belts. It is. That's her first. Heels camp goes to the line for her first free throw attempts of the night. Two shots coming for the freshman. First free throw is off the back of the rim. No good. Northland Pines was four of eight from the free throw line in the first half. Now four of nine. And the second is good, so 5 of 10 for the Eagles. Hewell's camp has 7. It's a 32-point lead for Lakeland. We met. Brings it into the front court, splits the double team. Ball gets knocked away for a second. Tries to get it down low to Kaler. She's got to kick it back out high. Fortier, left wing, three, swish! Beautiful shot from Lily Fortier. Seven in the second half, 14 on the night for Fortier. The Tebers lead at 76-41. We get a foul called against Lakeland on the other end as Weber was trying to drive. That's Grace Weber. This one's going to go against Belts. Team's third. As we mentioned, seven team fouls already against the Eagles. Grace Weber to the line for the first time here tonight. Makes the first. Two of three now the Eagles are in the second half. Pending the second free throw, which is no good. Rebounded by Fortier. Up ahead, they find Haley Curtis. Right wing, wide open. Three, no good. Rebounded down low by Kaler, and she's fouled. I believe this one's going to go against Weber. It was Weber and Hewell's camp down low battling. I believe Grace Weber going to be the offender, and that's her fourth. But it's a one-and-one one coming now for Jolie Kaler. Missed the front end of it the last time she was at the line. She's two of three tonight. Clock stops with 7-10 to play as Kaler makes her first. Earns the second. 77-42. How about the Badgers? Both on the hardwood and the grass, or the turf, <laughs> as the second is made as well. Lakeland's lead is 78-42. Badger basketball getting a huge win over Louisville. 
That game was never in doubt from the time they tipped. And the Badgers, they got the wind over Minnesota for Paul Bunyan's axe. Heels camp on the other side. Short jumper is good. So big weekend for the Badgers who are in a bowl game. Tell you about that in a second as we met. Drives all the way down the lane. Layup is too strong. No good. Rebound fought for. Belts comes away with it on her knees. Tries to get it to someone. And now they're going to say three seconds against Pines. So, nope, it's going to be, excuse me, three seconds against Lakeland. So Pines gets it back. Parnovich checks in, replacing Weber. And now we get a timeout. This one's going to be a timeout for Melissa we met. It's a full timeout. So we're going to step aside for one minute. Lakeland leading Northland Pines 78-44 with 6.40 to play. You're listening to Lakeland Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. Wishing the best of luck to the Lakeland T-Bird basketball teams this season. Since 1939, Woodruff Appliance and TV has been scoring with customers in the Northwoods with low prices on appliances, furniture, mattresses, and electronics, plus top-notch customer service. The staff's knowledge of the products they sell sets Woodruff Appliance and TV high above the competition. Let them help you select your new appliances, furniture, mattresses, and electronics with prices to fit any budget. See you at Woodruff Appliance and TV this season. Hi, it's Olivia Munn with my shelter pets, Frankie and Chance. Say hi, guys. <coughs> when I adopted them, I discovered that they both have incredible personalities. Chance's sole purpose in life is to love and to be loved. Frankie is a little bit of a scoundrel and always entertaining. <coughs> they're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council, the Humane Society of the United States, and Maddie's Fund. Cool 95.9. So have you ever heard of the Duke Mail Bowl? No, I had neither. The Badgers are going to be playing in it on December 30th. How about that? The Wisconsin Badger football team made the Duke's Mail Bowl. They're going to take on Wake Forest. It's a game that's going to be on ESPN on the 30th at 11. T-Bird's coming away with a steal. We met drives and scores. Just as we're talking about the Duke's Mail Bowl, we give uh, the T-Bird some good luck. Foul's going to go against Taparnovich. I prefer Hellman's or Kraft. I actually haven't had Duke's Mail Bowl, so I can't tell you if it's good or not. We met's free throw is good. 33 points now for the sophomore. And the T-Bird lead is 81-44. She just keeps coming at you, folks. Grimband bounces it off to her left for Alavati. Alavati dribbling against Haley Curtis. Back out high. Finds Parnovich. Parnovich cross court into the left corner for Grimband. Baseline jumper is no good. Rebounded by Kaler. So the T-Bird rebounding has certainly improved here tonight. They were... All rebounded big time against Medford as we met drives too strong. Belts can't come down with the rebound. Alavati does. 5.56 and counting. Lakeland leading 81-44. Grimband drives. Bounces off the back iron two times. No good. Rebounded by Belts. Up ahead quickly to Curtis. Curtis one on two. Drives. Layup is too strong. Rebounded down low. Kaler is good. Kaler got that rebound. Put it back up and in. Her first field goal of the second half. And the Tibers lead at 83-44. We're a point away from running clock here, folks. Alavati with it. Off to the left for Grimban. It's a 39-point lead for Lakeland. Weber to Hules Camp. No good. She's fouled. I believe Hules Camp is going to go to the line, or is it going to be out of bounds? Didn't know if she was in the act of shooting. We met with her fourth personal foul. Yep, she was in the act of shooting, so Hewell's camp goes to the line where she was one of two so far here in the second half. A couple of nice freshmen on this Northland Pines team as Hewell's camp misses the first. Emma Weber got some playing time in this one. She's a freshman. But Hewell's camp and Gremban, boy, these two stick together for the next four years. Northland Pines got something cooking here, folks. Second free throw is no good. Rebounded by Haley Curtis. Did a nice job of boxing out Hewell's camp. Gives it to We Met, drives and scores. 35 points for the sophomore. 
And Amaya White's going to get set to check in during the next break. More than likely, four we met. 85-44. Lakeland's lead is 41, and we've got running clock. As we met, comes away with the steal. Nobody tailing, lays it up and in. 37 for the sophomore. Recruited by Big Ten schools. I know we've got colleges watching here tonight. You're going to have a good one, folks, if you're able to land this sophomore. Haley Curtis fighting for the loose ball with Weber. Heels camp comes out of the pile and lays it up and in for the Eagles. Up ahead quickly to Jolie Kaler. Finds Haley Curtis down low. Layup is no good, but she's fouled. So Haley Curtis goes to the line. She's going to shoot two. This one goes against Alavati. That's her second, of course. Her mother. Wimet's mother, Melissa Wimet, the head coach here, was Miss Wisconsin basketball while playing at D.C. Everest. Free throw is up and no good for Haley. Was recruited by the legendary Pat Summit at Tennessee, went to play for Pat, and then transferred to Northwestern to finish her college career. Wholesale changes for the T-Birds with a 41-point lead and a running clock right now. We've got free throws coming. A free throw, I should say, left for Curtis. And that free throw is no good. Margatan was trying to tip that rebound. Lacrosse Margatan, who checked into the basketball game. Now the Eagles have it. It's 87-46. Dungmala off to the left for Parnovich, but an eight-foot jumper is no good. Rebounded by Lacrosse Margatan, who checked in, the five-foot-nine-inch junior. And now we met, shoots a three, it's short, no good. Rebounded by Parnovich. So yeah, basketball is in the We Met's blood, that's for sure. And now we get a timeout called. This is a full timeout from Northland Pines, but we're going to keep it here with 2.57 left. Lakeland leading 87 to 46. Yeah, we we're just talking about the family tree. As we mentioned, Melissa we met played big time college basketball for Tennessee and in the Big Ten for Northwestern. You think we're done with the We Met name? Think again, folks. Christina We Met is an eighth grader. Wait till you see this kid play next year. <laughs> this is gonna be a dynamite basketball team with the We Met sisters. And, of course, the great supporting cast that this Lakeland team has. Cassidy Cleveland's going to be on the squad next year. Haley Curtis is coming on strong. They will lose Amaya White and Camille Quaid to graduation after this season, but Lily Fortier is playing well. They've got Lacey Valier, who's a junior. Jolie Kaler is a junior. I'm telling you, folks, this is a team that could make a nice run next year if Christina comes in and plays as strong as she had at the youth level and at the AAU levels. Fantastic team this is going to be next year let's see if we can't get you caught up on some scoring from around the area let's see we've got a tweet from my buddy matt fry down in medford mosney leads 41 to 31 in that game in girls basketball mosney over medford by 10 with 1209 left and the last one we had from the rhinelander girls as they lead antigo at the half 28 to 18 here it's 87 46 we've got running clock and the eagles will inbound they get it into dungmala to weber now getting it to lexi thomas who checked in for the first time tonight five foot four inch junior and thomas gets out of it as well as lauren piper who checked in just had the ball knocked away from her lauren piper a six foot sophomore where's number 34 she's a forward a tall one six feet tall tallest player on the court now the eagles get it inside and the lamp is good and i believe they said aubrey buyer with the basket if i'm not mistaken the other side amaya white gets the basket to go so we've got some young players into the basketball game and buyer has the basketball Gives it off to Dungmala. Off to the right-hand side. Now it gets poked away, and bodies are on the floor trying to come up with that loose ball. 
And the Eagles do a short jumper is missed by Northland Pines. Lexi Thomas missed that one. And the T-Birds get the basketball back. 142 to play, leading 89-48. Now lacrosse Margatan, long three from the right side is no good. The T-Bird bench wanted that one. That happens a lot when you get the young players in. They want to see these, the varsity players want to see these young players get some baskets. And now we nearly get an over and back, but Dungmala saves it. Gets it over to Lexi Thomas. Right corner for Piper. Piper gives it back to Thomas. Tried to get it inside. Instead gets it to Bayer, and now we're going to get a foul called. Clock continues to roll. This one goes against Margatan. That's her first. Substitution as Belts checks in, replacing White. Again, we're stopped here in terms of the play, but the clock continues to roll. Running clock when you get to a 40-point lead in high school basketball. And now the Eagles is just trying to get something positive here. A long shot is missed by Doug Mala. It's rebounded by the T-Birds. Jolie Kaler brings it into the front court, finds Haley Curtis. Margatan for three right wing. No good. <laughs> I just love it. All the varsity players stood up on the Lakeland bench, arms up for three, and unfortunately couldn't hit. 23 seconds left in this basketball game. So the clock continues to roll as the Eagles bring it into the front court. Lexi Thomas fires a three right wing. This one's no good. Rebounded down low by Dungmala. Shot back up. No good. Belts with the rebound. And this one's going to come to an end here in Monaco tonight. The final score. Lakeland knocks off Northland Pines and girls basketball by a final of 89 to 48. The Lakeland girls improved to five and two overall and three and one. In the Great Northern Conference, the Northland Pines girls fall to one and five overall and one and three in the Great Northern Conference. Again, the JV girls won tonight here as well for Lakeland. The final there was 41 to 33. For all of you that were watching on the Lakeland Union High School Media Productions stream, thank you so much for watching. For those of you listening on the radio and online worldwide at WMQA.com, we'll be back to recap the scoring for you after this. You're listening to Lakeland Union High School Girls Basketball on Cool 95.9. There's no stronger craving than a Culver's.